my favorite show theme songs of all time. The Odd Couple is uh, back not only in general, but on CBS for season two, premiering Thursday, April 7th, 8.30 p.m. Eastern time on CBS. Uh, Wendell Pierce, one of the stars of that show, back here on The Rich Eisen Show. Good to see, see you, sir. And you were a star in that show, too. Well, I mean, I did one with Kenny Smith in season one. Right. And then uh, we just kicked Kenny to the curb for season two. <laughs> Kenny's out. Need I just, I'm like... So it's, all, it's all Rich Eisen. Yes, uh, yeah, yes. and, and I, I channeled my inner, you know... My inner a-hole, I guess, is basically what it is. You know, <laughs> that was real acting for you because that is so <laughs> opposite. Playing of who against you are. type, yeah. Playing against type, yeah. but I love doing that. It's just fun being on that set, and uh, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to the to the season coming up. We'll talk about that in a minute. But I know you are a diehard Saints fan. Yes, I who that? I remember you were you were. I mean, you wear it on your sleeve. You wear it in your I, Twitter feed. I live and breathe the black and gold. I love the Saints. I was in Tulane Stadium when when Tom Dempsey kicked the longest field goal. You saw that? You were physically I, there? I actually, you know, I, I was physically there, but my dad said, what, 63 yards? Come on, let's go. No. And so we're walking underneath, and I see the ball in flight through one of the ramps. Mm -hmm. And then the stadium erupts, and it starts to shake. Ah! And we run up, and I saw the celebration. So I continued that tradition when the Saints went to the Super Bowl. See, this is... Now, wait a minute. What do you mean you continue that tradition? The tradition of, I was actually there, but missing some of the most seminal moments of the game. What happened? I went to the bathroom at <laughs> halftime. <laughs> right? And so... Yeah. Uh, long lines. It's the Super Bowl. Right. You know, I, the halftime show. I, guess, I think it was the Who. Uh, no, I think before. it was Prince, wasn't it? No, wasn't no, no, no. It was the Who. Oh, it was the Who? Okay. It was the Who. Okay. Checked out the Who. Mm -hmm. Did Tommy and all of that. Okay. Went to the bathroom, and I was in the urinal. <laughs> <laughs> at the, I wasn't in the urinal. Okay, no, no. I was I, at the urinal. That's I very important I should put my hands yeah. down. Mm -hmm. I shouldn't. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I was at the urinal. No, uh, I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm at the urinal. And the stadium erupts. And I run back to my seat, and I miss the onside kick. You this missed the, the most incredible roll of the dice. It's the most in famous Super Bowl onside history. kick in, in the NFL, NFL history. history. Yeah, I know. Uh, and my team, the, my beloved Saints, did it. Mm -hmm. And I missed it. See, now that's why you're so pure, Wendell, is that you could sit here because I absolutely was there when yeah. Tom Dempsey well, kicked that Well, I've been saying that for like and the past I was <laughs> absolutely there. But you were, you're, you're, you I missed it. You missed Man, both I, of them. Yeah, missed both of them. My special teams history. Special, special teams history. I was there. It's kind of like the guy who, you know, looks down or drops something, you know. Yeah. Right? <laughs> missed something. <laughs> missed something. So, Wow, that's incredible. So what do you think of the conversation we just had about the kickoffs, Wendell? What do you, you think? You should be on the rules committee. Thank you. It was brilliant. Okay. You should have that in your hip pocket to a game. Uh, you know, there's this one high school coach mm -hmm. that does an onside kick every kick. Every kick? Every kick is onside. He says the percentage is better than you think, and he does it every kick. And uh, to have that as a tool mm -hmm. in your toolkit in your back pocket to say, if I have Hester on my team, okay, kick it to me. Yeah. Because you can't, you can't touch him. Yeah, Pac-Man, Hester, exactly. uh, Desmond Howard, all those guys, right? And then, and then hope that you don't use that up and then the other team actually can boot it out of the end zone. Right. And therefore, that's all, it's yeah, history. It's, that, that's moot, yeah. But, it, but, there's, then, then, but there's still some that's the, that's, the challenge, that's the challenge of the other team. Right. Okay, you have Hester, you want me to kick it off to you? Here's Big leg Bubba. Yeah, he's right. gonna kick he's it into. No uh, yeah, he's gonna kick it into the, the parking lot I'm every telling time. Telling you, I'm, I'm, I really like this idea. Yeah. What do you think of the current? Uh, I'm here with Wendell Pierce uh, at Wendell Pierce with two L's on Twitter. Joining me here on the Rich Eisen Show. So, what do you think of the current Saints? I mean, Sean Payton sticking around. That's got to be good for you. But it just seems the last for, couple of years it's been not up to. It's, it's your all standard. about defense. Mm -hmm. It's all about defense. We have one of the best one of the most historic offensive machines in the history of the, of the NFL. Mm -hmm. People don't even realize that Breeze, even last year, the, the, the season, the horrible season that we had, uh, he was number one in passing. You know, we, 30 points a game. Anyone in the league would love to average 30 points a game. How can we average 30 points a game and still lose? Uh, you know, it was a... Uh, man, we kind of blew it with free agency on the defensive end. 
Yeah, Jarris Bird not working out has been Jarris really Bird been a, is the injury. Uh, right. Brown, uh, I can't even remember. Browner. Him. Browner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, he was great at Seattle. Yeah, you know, he needed. And New England, too, not yeah. to rub it in, but. Okay, yeah. <laughs> but, you know. And then, you know, third time's the charm. He decides to. Right. Um, but, you know, we just need a defense, man. And I guess, you know, maybe a salary cap. Uh, but we just need a defense. Yeah, and Breeze is, Breeze is taking up $30 million on the cap, and everybody's waiting for the Saints to go ahead and maybe extend him and get that cap number down and allow you to, to yeah. get him. But free agency is passed, and if it's not going to happen this year, I, I don't know I, I, I know. Happen. I think, I, I guess we're going to do it in the draft, you know? Uh, I kind of like uh, our, you know, defensive coordinator. Well, it's uh, not but, Rob Ryan anymore. You got, it's not Den Rob you got Dennis Allen now. Yeah, as your Dennis, D Dennis Allen, I think, was, you know, that's why they kind of brought him in to kind of shadow mm -hmm. Rob. So, you know, when the shoe, the other shoe drops, that he would take over. And that kind of worked out the last uh, part of the season. Um, but, you know, man, if we ever get it together, mm -hmm. I think we have a window of another three or four years. Three years. But, you know, Sean Payton and Drew Brees together were great. I've got Wendell Pierce here on the Rich Eisen show. How many people bring up bunk to you still? Everybody, and if you see me on the street, you can call me Bunk anytime. You don't have a problem with that. I have no problem with it. It's not Gilligan. No, you know, if that's it a was Gilligan, that would be different. No. I, I, I felt for Bob Denver until the last <laughs> day of his life. Well, I mean, know. there's a difference between being on a three-hour tour and then an <laughs> opus like <laughs> right. what you were on on, yes. on HBO. I mean, if you take a look at the TV shows that are on the air right now, mm -hmm. the the influences of The Wire is absolutely everywhere. Absolutely, from from the sprawling casts. Or the fact that it's an anthology, that anthology, and that, and that from year to year shows are being completely retooled and yeah. recast with the yes. same cast. I mean, you're seeing Absolutely. that. Absolutely, you which see that with American Horror Story. You see that with uh, Fargo. Uh, I just binged watch uh, one of my favorite shows, House of Cards, mm -hmm. to have references going all the way back three seasons to the first season. Um, that is what uh, David Simon, the creator of The Wire, really showed uh, television uh, executives that. If you respect the intelligence of the audience, they will st stay with you and they will build uh, a, a, a world with you and you'll be able to tap into characters and situations uh, and do callbacks to years prior mm -hmm. and people will get it. On The Wire, one of, the, one of my favorite callbacks is you saw this one kid through the years who had this Never crazy fascination with Omar ultimately being the person that mm -hmm. was Omar's demise, the mm -hmm. kid that killed him. So. Uh, well, don't worry about it. Brockman is putting his hands, his fingers in his oh, ears right oh. now. He's never seen it. There are but two people in sorry, the world. Sorry, I've never seen The Wire. There's, there's two people in the world. Avid, crazy fans and people like Chris and who have never seen it. Well, here's, to get into my it business partner mm -hmm. in life yeah. has never seen The Wire. Well, I'm like jealous of you, Brockman. The fact that you've never seen it is I'm, I'm jealous of you because it is such an incredible experience. You are so incredible in it. Oh, the cast you. of people yeah. who are in this... Uh, you know, from from you to um, uh, Andre Royo, Sonia Son, uh, well, Idris Elba. Well, uh, Idris Elba, who played Stringer Bell. Yeah, and Dominic then, West. It's yeah. Uh, and yeah, I mean, it, I saw Wood. Oh man, mm -hmm. Wood Harris. Uh, I saw Wood Harris in. Um, speaking of sports, yes. Remember the Titans? Yes. Right. <laughs> I saw him in Remember the Titans, and I was like, man. He's such a good actor. And you, what happens is you're, you're reminded of the talent of people when you see him in other projects. And it's just a callback to the work that they did on The Wire. He was so great on The Wire. Right, and Michael B. Jordan. Oh, it, Michael B. Jordan was What fantastic. he's up to yeah. now, and yeah. it's, it's truly incredible. Let's talk about what you're up to now, Wendell Pierce. Uh, the Odd Couple, season two. April 7th, I mean, this CBS. Is sort of like the anti-wire. I mean, this is the, the, <laughs> yeah. the exact opposite I, in terms I of what you I pride myself do. on being a journeyman actor. Mm -hmm. I, um, and... Uh, Diversity of roles and diversity of projects, trying to do comedy and drama, and uh, this fits right into that. You know, mm -hmm. it's the last thing people expected me to do. I actually did Grease live. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, <laughs> yes, I, that's that was another it. project that I did. That people were just surprised that, lit that up I was Twitter. Thinking, yeah, Grease like, live. What is he doing? Right. <laughs> and that's what I said to myself. What the hell am I doing? <laughs> That was awful. Right. Uh, but uh, but that's the thing about being on a classic show like uh, The Odd Couple, man, and having Gary Marshall there as a uh, as a part of the writing staff and producing staff. Uh, and then Thomas Lennon and Matthew Perry are really 
perfect for the role. They are. I mean, they, they, they are perfect they really, for it. They really are playing it and then just have a contemporary uh, take on it. I am his producer, like Chris and Chris. Yes. Oh. He, has a, he has a program like this, right? He's not on television, but he's on the radio. Right. Oscar Madison, and I am banging it as a producer, like Chris and Chris, <laughs> and keeping the show rolling. I like it. You owe like it to it. them. They make Rich Eyes. That's you know, I, right? I, I, and I and I didn't I, I didn't I didn't notice the the similarities while I was there doing yes. the, doing the camera. I dress like Chris. But you are you, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. You I, are a producer. I put this on yeah. just for today. You are a producer who who takes credit in many ways where you don't deserve to take the credit too. Sort of yeah, yeah. Like the two Chris's. That's, that, that's true. Right, that's know? true. They right, the catch the, the kickoff rule. You guys love that. That's right? true. Right. right. Yeah, on. that was yours, that was right? Right. There right. It is. And he took all the credit. Well, it's just because he just had a baby and his mind is very clear. Yeah, he hasn't slept. In what eight? It's been three weeks. Yeah, it's been, it's yeah. three weeks. There's a been day, a lot yeah. of things not going on over there. That's good. Uh, and listen, uh, thanks for coming on, Wendell. I really <laughs> thanks appreciate for having it. me. I hope I made some sense. You made a tremendous amount. Yeah, of you sense. know, I have no real sports sense. I love to talk sports, no, and I really he... don't know what the hell I'm talking about. <laughs> but <laughs> it's you, like you know, well, if you, you notice when you started talking about the cap, I just kind of no, stood I didn't here. talk. About... I was shaking my head like yes. But you are. But no, look, mm. we have had conversations about the Saints many times. And you are as true blue, uh, or as yes. true black and gold, black and gold as, is, yeah. as any as anybody else. So, and let me tell you, know. you I just there's a game, mm -hmm. there's a game this season that's going to be great. Uh, when we go to Kansas City, for some reason, I'm looking forward to that game. It's going to be fun. Uh, it's going to be great. And uh, I don't know why I brought it up. Well, <laughs> well, I'm hyped up on coffee right now. It's all good. Good to see you, bud. Good to see you. Wendell Pierce is here on The Rich Eisen Show. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern. On Audience.